Good morning. This is a video about soaking and sprouting seeds and nuts. Now some nuts are not able to be sprouted because they are not viable for one reason or another. Those nuts or seeds we just soak for 12 hours. I usually use about a quart jar. I fill, fill it to the top with water and add about a teaspoon of sea salt and stir it. Then you're going to drain after 12 hours and rinse them. After that you can use a dehydrator and you can dry them back out to the crunchiness that you prefer. Just remember that if they are not very dry out of the dehydrator you either need to continue the drying process or you need to store them in the refrigerator. If you get them dry enough they'll be okay to store out again because uh, they won't be risking mold. So when you're drying them in the dehydrator, if you want to keep them as a raw food, you're going to want to keep the dehydrator under about 110 degrees. Um, if you don't have a dehydrator, you can toast them in the oven, which they will not be raw if you do that, or you can turn your oven on its lowest setting, heat it up, and then let it cool slightly. Then place your nuts on a pan in the oven to dry them. And what I usually used to do before I had a dehydrator was I would heat it, heat the oven, stick the nuts or seeds in there, and close it and leave it all day until I needed my oven. And then if they were not dry enough, I would do that process again. Same thing in the dehydrator. Okay, so these nuts and seeds have been soaked. I put them on 24 hours ago to soak and then last night before I went to bed I drained them and rinsed them and now I'm checking them to see if they've sprouted sometimes I when I drain and rinse I go ahead and fill it with water again but technically when you're sprouting, like let's say I was sprouting bean sprouts or something, you would, after the initial soaking, you would just drain them and allow them to be moist but not soaking. Okay, you can see the little tip on this. And that is a sprout. So we're good. Now you're going to, uh, when you buy pumpkin seeds and sunflower seeds you have to understand that some of them are not viable because they got damaged but you can see these these clearly I checked them last night so that I could definitely tell if they were sprouting and they are sprouting so you can see the little tail coming out the end that means that these nuts uh, have gone through the process. They have re released their enzymes and changed their chemical uh, characteristics to such a degree that they will be more bioavailable to my body and be able to digest. Uh, my body will be able to digest and access the nutrients. Um, when you eat nuts and seeds without soaking them. What happens is that they bind with minerals in your body and carry them away. <laughs> so that's not what we want. We want to access the minerals and nutrients in the seeds. So that is why it's very, very important to eat, to um, soak your nuts, because if you don't, for one thing, you're wasting a lot of money on some really good nuts and seeds, because you're not getting any benefits from them if you don't soak them. Uh, if, you're, if you work and you're very busy, you can still do it. Just put them on to soak in the morning while you're making your coffee and then when you get home in the afternoon 
stick them in the oven or if you're going to use your oven in the evenings put them on to soak at night and give them a rinse in the morning soak them the next uh, give them a rinse in the morning and leave them until the next morning rinse them again that night leave them until the next morning that would have been 36 hours and then stick them in the oven or in the dehydrator before you go to work and it does work so these are also these have also been soaked for 24 hours but I can't seem to find my strainer there it is it's difficult to do these things with one hand so I'm going to do it and then come back Okay, I'm back. And you can see that our sunflower seeds also have those little tips coming out. That is their sprout. So we are good. All of our seeds are ready. Now, if you want to season them before you dry them, you can add some salt, pepper, cayenne, or whatever suits you. That's what I like to do. I like to season mine. And uh, the last thing I wanted to tell you is if you're making bean sprouts, you just continue this process of rinsing and draining and rinsing and draining until they get to the desired amount of growth that you want. Uh, normally bean sprouts are perfect in about three days. So there you go, sprouting pumpkin seeds and sprouting sunflower seeds. Oh, I don't know if I mentioned they need to definitely be organic and raw. If they're not raw, they are not viable to sprout. If they are not organic, they are very highly not likely to sprout because they are probably, or well, there's a good chance they're irradiated. And if they're not, of course, there are other implications of not of not being organic, but those are controversial to some people. Uh, the amount of pesticides in the nuts. Uh, but I will mention that pesticides are fat soluble generally, or many of them are. And this means that they are concentrated in the fat food, fatty food sources. And nuts being a very uh, healthy source of fats do contain a significant amount of fat which means that that is where the pesticide might concentrate in a plant. Um, so just keep that in mind. And have a wonderful day, everybody.